Hello, hello, hello. I'm Ali. I'm a Webflow developer based in Kuwait. Uh, let me show you how you can smooth scroll to an anchor link on another page on Webflow. So most of the time, if you have an anchor link on the same page, it, it smoothly scrolls to it. So let's give a, let me give you an example over here. Now I'm going to go back to the top right over here. If I click over here, Webflow will smoothly scroll to this button. But what happens is if I have, let's say on here, we, I have a resources by Webflow community tab. All right. And it's right here. So you would expect that it will smoothly scroll. But when I click on it, boom, it snaps to it. So sometimes you don't want that. So you can easily fix this using a little bit of custom code and uh, linking it to the exact button properly. So let me show you how it is done. I, ha I have this page right over here. Uh, when you use a custom code and you link the button properly, this will happen. So if I go to Kate, uh, I want to go to a button on page two, I click on here, it will scroll to the another page uh, button over here. So I can go back on this where flows native uh, interaction will apply here. Then I go to the back to the previous page it will scroll back down to that button instead of snapping it. So let me show you how this is done. And this is again a clonable that is, I'm going to be uh, making it available down in the description box so you can clone it and see how this is done. Now we have a custom code being applied over here. Let's look at the custom code first of all. So it's on both of the pages, wherever, where the anchor link is and where it will go to. We have this script right over here. All right. Again, it's a clonable. Uh, I'm going to make it right down or available down in the description box. So when you press the anchor link, it goes to that button. It goes to a section. We are going to name that section scroll here. So whenever you click the anchor link, it will scroll here. So we give it an ID over here. Same thing over here on page two. Uh, there's another button over here. It's the same ID scroll here. When we go on page one, we go to the anchor link here. If we check out the URL here, I will specify that this will go to page two after Webflow IO page two, and then you put hashtag scroll here. So once you set this up, you set up the custom code on both the pages and you give this button where it will go to an ID of scroll here, that is all you need and uh, to make uh, to make this whole thing work. So at the end, this is how it should be working. You go to the back to the top, let's say, you go to page one, it will scroll down smoothly. You go back top again, it will scroll down smoothly. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you need any help in Webflow, let me know. Again, the clonable is down in the description box. Enjoy and have a great day building on Webflow. See you guys.